thing that I didn't remember but I did. Oh. All right, hey guys, it's G. How's everybody doing? I've been doing pretty good. Recently, I've been like very happy and like things are going really well and I'm like very suspicious. You know when that happens? Things are going a little too well so you're like waiting for something bad to happen. I'm in that like phase of life right now. You know, life has like its ups and downs and right now I'm going up, up and up and up and I don't know when I'm gonna go down because it hasn't happened in a while. So yeah, I'm anticipating that uh, downslope. Not being negative or anything, like that's just the way life is. So, I wonder when that's gonna be. Anyway, hey, I filmed a get to know me video for this channel probably about a year ago and I thought it was appropriate to do a get to know me part two because I didn't answer all the questions last time because I was literally doing it for an entire hour or two hours and I was like, wow, I should just make a part two. So a lot of these questions you guys asked me are repeats of things that I've answered in my first get to know me video. So if you haven't watched that yet, definitely watch it. A lot of people ask like where my family is from in Italy, like what did I study in college, stuff like that. So if you wanna know all that stuff, click right there. All right, let's start off with an interesting one. Is there anyone around you that you hate? If so, who? So, hmm. Okay, so something about me, let me just say, it might sound cliche, and I'm not just saying this to like make myself look good. I like genuinely really stand by this. I don't hate anybody, but I do strongly, strongly, strongly dislike some people. But it doesn't just start off by me being like, wow, I really don't like you. You need to give me a reason for me to not like you. You know what I mean? So I don't just like see somebody and like think, oh, I already don't like you based on how you look or whatever. That's not how I am. If someone gives me a reason to dislike them, like if they disrespect me, if they disrespect my family, yeah, I'm not gonna like you. But am I gonna like hate you and like subtweet about you and like post it online? Definitely not, because guess what? I am not in middle school. So, you know, those people who I dislike, wish the best for them. I have no room in my heart for hate. I don't hate anybody. I do dislike some people. You know, I don't prefer to be around them as much as I would prefer to be around other people who, you know, treat me well and respect me and my family. But um, if there's anybody out here who has like beef with me, I. I don't want that, you know, nobody wants enemies. Nobody wants people to dislike them. That's just like not human nature. Like we all wanna be liked, we all wanna be accepted. But there are those people, you know, who you're not gonna like and they're not gonna like you. If you could go back five years back in time, what would you say to your younger self? I would definitely tell my younger self that things get better. Just like I talked about in the beginning of this video, like life comes in ups and downs. Like it's all equilibrium. Life is all about balance. Like you can't always have things going well because then you won't be able to appreciate it, you know, you need to go through those downs. I would also definitely tell myself that nobody else's opinion matters but your own. The moment I like really made that switch in my life to like be who I am, wear what I want, love what I love, you know, things like that, I instantly became happier. Like, I'm telling you, it is such a simple thing to just say out loud, but to actually do it and, you know, pursue being who you are and doing what you love, it will change your life. So that is definitely something that I would tell my younger self. People are gonna judge you either way, so like, whatever. Just do what makes you happy. Okay, next question. Pokemon, pizza, or sushi can only pick one. I love sushi so much, but between Pokemon and pizza, I'd have to rule it out. I gotta go with pizza here. Because pizza, it's like the circle of za. You know, like I became a woman through pizza. So I'm gonna have to go with pizza. That was a good question. Why did you choose pizza job? I didn't choose the pizza life. The pizza life chose me, but like actually. Okay, so let me just give you the whole pizzeria rundown. For anybody who doesn't know, Cam's Pizzeria derives from my father who was nicknamed Cam growing up. He started Cam's when he was only 19 years old in Geneva, New York in 1980. So I grew up in these pizzerias. Literally my earliest memories are standing next to the pizza bench and like begging my dad for like little bits of dough so I can make like a tiny pizza and put it in the oven. The pizzerias really are so special to me. As much as, you know, at times in my life, I resent it who wants to go to work, especially in a family business. You feel like you have to be perfect when it's your family's business because everybody's watching you. You're supposed to be the, you know, the best at it. And that can really take a toll on you sometimes, to having to always try to be perfect. But it definitely taught me a lot about myself. And I am forever grateful with a capital G 
to have worked in these pizzerias. Maybe I'll make a whole video about just like the pizzerias if you guys wanna learn more about them. They are a significant part of my life, a pretty big part of the pie, if you know what I mean. But yeah, maybe I'll just make an entire video talking about the pizzerias, and uh, if you guys wanna learn more, let me know. How many languages can you speak? Posso parlare un po' italiano. También puedo hablar algo de español. I also know some Turkish, of course. Naver kankas, any sabiorum. Arabic, I know like, yalla habibi, so, you know, little bits of that. So yeah, that's like pretty much it. Oh, and English. <laughs> Which products do you use for teeth? Always like pearl. <laughs> I use Glow Whitening System. Um, I did make an entire video about it as well. It was recommended to me by my brother, Antonio, also known as Dr. C of Celestial Dental. I did make an entire video about how I keep my teeth so white. So if you wanna know how to get white teeth like this, definitely check out that video. Ah, that was a good itch. Okay, there is no any questions actually, but I wanna say Seni Saviorum. Who is your idol? Okay, I'll tell you guys. My idol is Mimi Icon. She, I swear to God, if she said, Juliana, jump off a cliff, I would be like, Mimi, do you want me to jump head first? What do you want? Like, I would literally trust everything this woman says. I've been following her since I was like 12 or 13. I think I watched one of her like hair tutorial videos. I followed her on YouTube, I followed her on Instagram, and the way her mind works, I just respect it so much. It aligns so much to what I believe in and things that I've always wanted to be like. The way she practices gratitude, just the way she parents her daughter Alexa Love. I just, oh my gosh, Mimi Icon. Like, that is one person that I will not die until I meet that person. Like, literally, if I met Mimi Icon, I would fall to the ground and cry. Like, I have so much respect for her and I look up to her so much. So, definitely Mimi Icon. Her and her husband Alex. Alex is also like, incredible the way their mind works like they definitely deserve a lot more followers they stand for all things good and all things pure and you can really tell i feel like sometimes you see people on social media and you're like eh, they're probably not really like that i don't know you can just tell with these people they they are so i love them give us examples about italians to don'ts list daily life, expressions, cuisine, etc. So if you didn't already know, I do have a video series called Italian Things with G. Um, it's a bunch of videos that I make for Hardcore Italians YouTube page, which you can find, I'll put it in the description. Um, I make like, you know, five things you should never say to an Italian girl, or 10 things you need to know before going to an Italian family dinner, like stuff like that. So um, definitely check it out. I think that's what you're trying to ask. I think you're a really good voice as I heard, but you don't feature it. Have you ever think about music career? My answer for you is I, I did theater all throughout high school and college and that's kind of where I would sing. I always sing in the shower and um, you know, my soap loves it. I don't know, I don't really think about it that much. I just enjoy singing just for the fun of it. I don't think about it seriously, seriously, but I don't know, who knows, maybe. I'm open to anything. Your birthday? My birthday is December 2nd, 1996. What do you most wanna do before you die? You are the best, by the way. What do I wanna do before I die? I definitely wanna have a family. I, as my heart's desire, I wanna have my own family, I wanna have my own kids, I wanna be in love, I wanna invite all my siblings, all my spouse's siblings, all my parents and you know my in-laws and relatives, all that. I want them all to come over to my house. I wanna wear like the prettiest apron and I wanna just cook dinner for everybody. That's what I wanna do before I die. Literally, I want nothing more. Like in that moment, I know like I'll be like sitting at the table and I'm just gonna start Start crying hysterically because I'm just gonna be so happy, you know. Like I just only want dancing skills. Where are they coming from? I danced from the age of two all the way to like age 14, and then I did theater from age 14 until age like 22. I've always had a background in dancing, so yeah. If you could snap your fingers and change one thing about your life, what would it be? Sounds cliche, but I would change nothing because everything that I did in life, everything that I've experienced, the good and the bad, all shaped me to who I am today, and I am so proud of that person. So so, nothing. What is your biggest priority right now? My biggest priority is myself and loving myself. That is the number one priority because if I don't love myself, I can't love anybody else. I can't do things with all of myself, you know? The number one priority is making sure that I love myself and I understand myself. So yeah, understand and love yourself. That's rule number one. Should be your number one priority. Definitely a lot easier said than done. My first love, my first love is my father. Love you, Papa. When are we gonna see Gio on the channel? I missed him. Gio, Gio, Gio. Gio's my alter ego character. I haven't played him in a long time. It's been like over a year. I never knew how to like reintroduce him into the videos again because it's been so long and- Hey guys! Oh my God, Gio, what's up? We haven't seen you in like literally a year. Miss you guys too. 
Especially the babes. A lot of people are saying they miss your tea videos. Oh, those tea videos, man. We did a great job with those. But we both know the only reason people watch them is because they wanted to see me. All right, let me finish this video. Yeah, sure, whatever. Kick me to the curb again like you always do. I swear, this chick is just like Annie from Toy Story. You know how, like, Annie gets Buzz for his birthday and forgets all about Woody and the times they share together? That's how I'm feeling right now. All of a sudden, she starts making vlogs and she forgets all about sipping the tea. I just didn't know how to like bring you up again. It's been a while. I know, man. It's been a long time. All right, let me finish this video. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say one more thing. Okay, fine. I forgot what I was going to say. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, Gio, say bye. Bye. <laughs>